Within Prolico to Go, um, you have both topic or not topics, both folders and pop-ups. And so what's really nice is that when you are working with a Gestalt language processor, um, you can use the pop-up feature to work with a mitigatable Gestalt, like let's or something like that, and then add all of the possible mitigations. Like when they press on let's, it'll say go or eat or whatever it might be. And you can also work with the pop-ups um, by having it also state um, go from their original gestalt and have and pop up with all the different options of how to mitigate it. And so if you don't know what a pop-up is, um, I didn't either um, for a little while. And so when um, I learned, I was fascinated by it. So if you go um, within the system, this is a masked system that I've created, um, but I can show you what a pop-up is. So when I go to my TV shows, I created a pop-up for Disney, and this has nothing to do with Gestalt language processors, I'm just showing you what a pop-up is. So when you click on Disney, it'll pop up with all these different movie options. And so if you click Frozen, it'll actually go back. So these are th things that um, you don't necessarily want to stay on the page, it will automatically go back to the page that you were on initially. So just to let you know. So you can use this, so let's say we have a Gestalt program in here. So I'm going to program it into um, a pop-up. So we can go into food and let's say we have that Gestalt um, program in here. Um, and so for example, you might have the one I've been giving in past examples if you've been working on different AAC systems, which is a colleague of mine had a student that used the apples and bananas song as part of their Gestalt. And so um, let's go and create a folder instead of a button. So you click the plus sign with, within the little um, square folder looking thing, create a new folder. So it's gonna give you options to do templates. I don't often use these unless I'm creating a very specific folder. Um, I'm gonna just scroll all the way to the bottom on the left hand side to no template and it will just be a blank pop-up that goes on. And so what you're gonna do is label it. So for this example, it might be the um, I like to eat apples and bananas. And so that's going to be what the pop-up is. I'm going to edit the image to choose a picture. And I have um, this picture from the Super Simple Songs. So I'm going to use that. And so you'll see that you have the option to open in a pop-up. So this is this little option right here right under the label you created, you wanna click on. And so that means it's a pop-up and it's not gonna just open to a folder that's separate. So when you're done with that, you click done and now it is a new folder, but you have not yet programmed anything into the folder. So when you are ready to do that, you go up to the right hand corner and click done. And so let's say you were working with this student um, and this was just a button that only said the phrase, I like to eat apples and bananas. Um, but now you're creating it into a pop-up. You want to make sure it's not going to say anything when you press on it. So you want to make sure to still program a button that says that gestalt. So when you're on this pop-up, you go to the editing function with a little pencil. And now you're creating just buttons within this pop-up. So I might do the whole song. I like to eat apples and bananas. And so I might use that same symbol I've been using for that whole entire song. And so in this case, I might use the part of the song um, that I have used in the past. Um, so I might program it so I go on my phone, so that's what I'm doing right now. And I look up, I like to eat apples and bananas, the song, and maybe they like the specific part of the song. So I'm gonna make sure that I still have that piece recorded. So bear with me as the commercials happen and I get to this part of the recording. So you can see that right next to I like to eat apples and bananas, there's that little microphone. And so that is what I'm going to use to record that part of the song. And so right now I haven't started recording yet. I just got to the right part of the song. I click the little microphone button and I'm gonna record audio. 
They like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to and so you see that I recorded that part of the song, and this is, um, go I go a little slower on how to do this in a different video, but I just wanted to make sure to honor that person's gestalt, and so I programmed it in there. And so that's gonna be one of the buttons, but then what you wanna do is possibly program other mitigations or versions of that. Like maybe you program, I like to eat, and that can be part of it. And so you can think of a visual, so choose a, just one of the normal symbols in here. Maybe it's related to eating. You can really go through and look at this. So maybe you choose this one. I like to eat. Maybe then you have I like as another one. And maybe another mitigation would be like I like to. And then they can add eat or drink or whatever um, would be in relation to the verb in this situation. So when you click done in the upper right hand corner, these are going to be your pop ups. And so when you go back to food, when you press on this, um, it'll pop up. And let's say you want to do the whole gestalt. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. So this would be more of a stage one gestalt. And so you still want to have that in their system. But let's say they're ready for mitigations. And maybe you want to say, I like to eat chicken nuggets. Or you could even say, I like to help. Or, I like to, oops, I like cookie. So you can really use this to um, program more and more mitigations. And honestly, this is one of the only systems or the only system that has this feature. And it's really helpful um, and helps with the, the piece of not having enough space in the system to work on those mitigations later on. But pop-ups are a great way to do this.